Hey there, it's Kat and this is Brews and Reviews. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some books that are on my shelves that I might unhaul. Who knows? They've been sat there for a little while and I look at them and I think, probably never going to pick that up but I keep them around for some reason. Well now, I finally got to the stage where I'm like, why? Why am I keeping these around? What's the point? If I'm never gonna read them, what is the point? So I wanna talk to you guys about them and you can tell me if you've read them or if there's any reason I should keep them or you know, if I should just sack them off, send them to the charity shop. Maybe they'll bring someone else joy, I don't know. So we'll just talk about it and uh, you guys can let me know what you think. The first book I want to talk about today is They All Fall Down by Tammy Cohen. I believe this book is about a woman who gets locked up in a mental institution and uh, people start getting murdered and nobody quite knows what's going on. So, you know, it sounded good to me from a thriller standpoint, but then someone read it and said that they thought it was like, meh, and I was like, oh. So it kind of just dampened my thoughts on this and I was like, am I ever going to pick it up? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Anyone read this one? So the next book that I want to talk to you guys about is Gregor the Overlander by Suzanne Collins. Yes, that's Suzanne Collins. And yes, I did pick this up because Hunger Games, yay! Back in the day I was like, I'm gonna read uh, Suzanne Collins' other books. And then I realised this was middle grade and I was like, oh, interest waning. So I have not picked this up since, you know, little Hunger Games cat um, was around, which is what, like six, seven years ago now? Oh, it was a long time ago. So, um, yeah, I've not picked it up. I believe this is a middle grade portal fantasy and uh, I don't really know what else it's about. Should I read this? Should I sack it off? The next book on my list is The Hypnotist by Lars Kepler. Now, um, this is a murder book and I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys, I picked this one up as part of a three for five deal, like, eight years ago now, no idea actually what it's about, and it's huge, it's just a really big book. I mean, the the words are big, so it's not like it would take me ages to read, there's just something about it that I'm like never drawn to this book. It's definitely like a, a detective investigating murders and the killer and like all the hallmarks of things that I would read, there's just something about it that I just never ever go to when I'm like, oh, what's the next thriller I should read? I never pick this one. Doesn't cross my mind at all. And I think it's because it's huge. It's like even taller than regular books, like, like that's the size of a regular book. Why is it so much bigger? I don't understand why you're like this. Why are you like this? The next book on this list is The Left Hand of God by Paul Hoffman. Yeah, that's his name. We literally couldn't even remember the name. I read that like two seconds ago. I don't know what this book's about. I think it's about a guy that could destroy the world. Will he? Will he not? I don't know. Do I care? Not really sure. Um, I think I kept it because I really like the cover. I think the cover's interesting and um, I just, I'm really pissed that the back of this book is full of people talking about it and how great it is rather than a description of the fucking book. Like, I want to know what it's about and this is not telling me anything. And I, it just pisses me off because I'm like, what? If you can't be bothered to tell me why I should read this book, why should I read this book? I don't know, I've never heard anyone talk about this book either, so that's a bit irritating. And the last book on this list is by an author that I'm really not going to be able to pronounce their name correctly, but I am going to try. And the book is The Wind Up Girl by Paolo Bacigalupi. And yeah, this is a sci-fi book. And the reason I own this book is because it was required reading for a sci-fi module that I did at university, and I didn't I didn't read it, obviously, as you can tell by it being on this list, and I don't know, there's something that just stopped me, and maybe it's because it's a large book, I do have like a blocker on my brain where if it's going to be a large book then I best be damn interested in it, otherwise I'm not going to pick it up, I, I genuinely think that's like a problem of mine, but aside from that, the cover just doesn't interest me, it's like random sci-fi skyscrapers. Man and elephant. Like, the elephant thing it interests me, like, the multiculturalism of it interests me because I do believe it's set in Thailand and there is, like, a whole element to that, which is quite interesting, which is probably why I've not 
given it away yet and why I hung on to it even though I've not been in uni for four, four, five years now? Wow, I'm old. Um, <laughs> I've kept it around and I just don't know if I'm ever going to read it. I feel like any, any of my sci-fi friends, have you, you read this one? Can you tell me about it? Can you tell me if it's any good, if it's worth reading? Please? So that's it for the books that I'm willing to take off my shelves. I think I need to take a closer look at some of the other ones and just see if, you know, I'm ever going to read them. Or if I'm just holding on to them for the sake of holding on to them. Because maybe one day, um, I don't know, I am a mood reader. It's just those five that I've talked to you guys about never seem to come to the top of the list. And it's just questionable whether I keep them or not. So let me know what you guys think if you've read them. I would like to know. Yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!